Blue is one of the most popular colors in the game and probably one of the main ones a lot of people will be curious about when jumping into this game. It is quite possibly the most diverse color playstyle wise at the moment with plenty of viable decks ranging from combo to mid-range. Between Metal Garurumon, All Force Vidramon, Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode, and even the head honcho himself, Omnimon, Blue is home to a lot of different fan favorites and playstyles for them. Let's start with Aggro. Similar to Red, the most popular blue playstyle at the time of writing this video is a turbo build focused Omnimon deck. Omnimon's effect to destroy any Digimon and all copies of it on the field paired with its 15k DP makes him very oppressive to go up against so any deck that can get fast access to him will run it. Run cheap vanillas to get to him quickly, you know the song and dance by now. I previously mentioned blue is the most popular build for Omnimon Turbo because it does it better than Red. That is because Blue has an easier time swarming the field and has better fallbacks. Booster Set 1 Metal Garurumon's effect helps swarm the field by playing a Digimon from its stack when attacking. Leopardmon has a similar effect when digivolving. This creates pressure that is hard for your opponent to handle as you keep strengthening your board while they're already busy trying to handle the horrifying demon that is Omnimon. Blue also has quite a few good jamming Digimon. Jamming lets you survive battles with Digimon stronger than you during security checks, so you only have to worry about option cards that destroy or remove. This lets you be more aggressive with security checks with less risk of losing your board presence. Blue's jamming strategy is so aggressive that it currently has the only jamming level 3 rookie at the time of this video. Blue can also play as a combo deck, which is to say, a deck that needs to gather pieces to pull off its win condition. The most prominent example of this in Blue is All Force Vidramon. With the right setup, All Force Vidramon can swing for 3 securities or more in one turn, but it takes a lot of pieces. Blue All Force has Digimon the combo with their tamer, Rina Shinomiya, to gain jamming or extra restands for more attacks. This deck also wants to see as many of the Vidramon line in hand together to combo for more restand effects and thus extra security checks. The problem with this is having to wait to see as many pieces in hand to get the most out of your turn. If you don't see them soon enough, you're left stalling while your opponent gains momentum ahead of you. When this deck goes off, it can perform very well with powerful plays, but bricking can be worse than usual because the pieces of the decks don't perform as well without the rest of it. Omnimon builds also have combos by using Booster Set 1 Garurumon in Metal Garurumon stack, so when you attack, you can play him and use its effect to restand Metal Garurumon to either go for more swings or leave Omnimon protected for next turn if you choose to digivolve. If you're a fan of combo decks, blue will have the most variety for you to choose from. One thing to keep in mind, however, is that there currently isn't a lot of cards in the game that search through your deck. There's no traditional searcher deck cards like in other games at the time of this video either. All searching in this game is typically done by looking at the top few cards of your deck and grabbing what the effect on the card says to, putting the rest on the bottom of the deck. So blue relies on draws from evolving and cards like Upamon to keep going through the deck for combo pieces. Because of this, you really have to build for consistency rather than building with specific matchups in mind. And if you have bad luck, it could be a drag to get your duel back on track. The last aspect worth mentioning in blue is blue's evolution strip mechanic. Gaining effects from digivolving is important in this game. Blue has effects that can remove the sources to weaken your Digimon. This playstyle can range from mid-range, strategically poking away at sources and security while your opponent is weakened, all the way to a control playstyle with cards like Shakomon dictating what your opponent's Digimon can do without Digivolution sources. This is probably the most underpowered playstyle of blue at the moment and least played, but will only get more support, so if that interests you, keep it in mind. Blue has a lot of fun options to choose from. Some of these decks may be better to move on to once you've had more experience with the game, but when you're ready to challenge yourselves, dive in. There's a fun stuff to do in this color. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.